Let's continue to organize our little park. So, if you open the outliner, you can see there are a lot of components or groups inside this model because I drag see like each tree component is shown here. So, I need to organize them. Okay. Um as a rule of thumb, you're going to use tags to control all the individual trees, people, and cars, furniture, those uh, isolated, not isolated, like not connected components. So you don't create them as a group because it will add an extra layer. You have to double click to edit them. So you just use tags, give them tag. So for something like the fence or the ground, you want to create a group because these are connected. So it's easier if you double click to uh, edit those fence. Okay, let's start working. So first thing first, I'm going to reload this gazebo. We just finished it. So right click on it and then click on reload is under uh, the first section right here. It's called reload. So still using the gazebo for click on OK. So this is the latest design we just finished. Now I'm going to open the text. You see, when I import this one, it bring in the flower box <coughs> text from the gazebo uh, component. That's fine. We can just leave them there. So now I'm going to create, uh, maybe just call it plants, and create another tag, people. Oh. and uh, furniture. Okay, so the street lights belong, you can open the entity inf info right here, belong to the furniture. And uh, these benches, you can hold down shift key to select anything you want to tag. So this bench, the trash receptacle, and the four uh, picnic table and the chairs. Anything else? I think that's it. So all these, you can tag them furniture by just select all of them, holding shift key, and then assign a tag furnishing furniture so now if you see if i check the eye uncheck the eye in front of the furniture so this way your model is much easier to work with because you can just apply all these trees and the flowers Assign the plants so you can. Okay, this one's still plants. Okay, good. So now, as I said, the peoples need to be people. Great. So the all these fence, these one, as I said, because they are connected. So I'm going to select all the fence from here. Hold on shift key to here. So you see, this is an easier way 
rather than select in the drawing modeling window, I'm selecting every fence inside the outliner and then right click to make a group. I'm going to call it a fence. Okay. Oh, at the bottom. So yeah, it's the list is so long. So you go here. So now if I'm okay, I'm going to uncheck the eye to hide the fence. So I can also uncheck the gazebo to hide it. So now maybe these double click to select this one at the long area and then make a group. I'm going to call it long. So this is the so maybe just select everything on the ground and then make one group make one big group and call it uh, ground. Okay. So you can click on this. All right. So it seems like you can hide the ground, show the fence, and show the gazebo in this outliner. And then you can show the furniture, the people, or plants in the text. By this way, you can like, uh, for example, you're working on the shape of the ground or something, you can just close all the heavy stuff, the, the furniture and the, the trees. So it will speed up your modeling, um, the computer speed. Okay, I think that's it for organizing the model. I'm going to stop here. Don't forget to save your model.